Voro boy, everybody. This is Makanjula. And Ipashewa. And we are Ariani. And welcome to a sewing sessions presentation. This presentation will let you know everything you can expect from a sewing session series, which we have a few coming up, but consult with your representative regarding dates and times. Alrighty, so we're gonna jump right in and give you all the information you need to know about what you can expect from a sewing session series. All right. Now, I think. Okay. So, Ariane believes that true healing is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's not something you can start and drop off later on. It's something you have to do on a daily basis. Every day you wake up, it's a lifestyle that you have to live daily. It's so again, sowing our past and being holistic and having ideals to heal ourselves is an everyday challenge. So we challenge you to be holistic every day and join us in the sewing sessions, presentations, and these classes that we have coming up. Okay, so you can heal your past and move forward as old Damari would want you to do. Now, what is Ariani about? Let's talk about that. Okay. Ariani aligns your mind by applying divine spiritual teachings with everyday human experiences, meaning that we take the esoterics of the teachings of Ifa and we make it more applicable and more tangible so that you can see how you can directly in real time apply these understandings and teachings to your everyday life. Okay. Um, sometimes these things can be challenging, but we do our best to make it less challenging so that you can make your life a little bit easier as you move through this process or this spiritual practice that we call a fa. all right? Oriani provides space where you can gather spiritual wisdom in a like-minded community. We built Oriani, so then we have like-minded people to be able to come together and be able to share the spiritual wisdom in Ifa. So why Oriani, right? What makes us so special? Well, let's face it. It's a spiritual, the, the spiritual journey can be a lonely one. Now, when you begin to embark on your spirituality, to heal, do all these type of things, it becomes a lonely journey because not everybody is meant to be on that journey with you. So, but it is does help for you to have a community, as he had just said, of people who are like-minded on the same mission with the same purpose so that when you get low on energy of continuing this process <laughs> you can call on people you can you can contact us you can contact people in the classes um, to get more information and motivation at the same time spiritual growth requires a community effort along with personal commitment so what does this mean that spiritual growth requires a community you can't do it by yourself you need to have other people with you, especially like-minded people, to be able to support you and also help you with resources through the process. And it is a commitment. It is 100% a personal commitment that you make. So how many of you here are listening to our voices, have wholeheartedly committed to your spiritual growth? You've totally bought in and said, this is it. It is time for me to make this happen. I'm going to do it at all costs by any means necessary. As Malcolm X once said, I am going to accomplish everything that Ifa or the spiritual world wants me to do in this world. And I'm committed to that process. How many of you under our voices has actually made that commitment and signed that contract to move forward? Think about that and ask yourself that question as we move forward, please. Have you been able to find a community where you feel safe and that provides the proper nutrients? That sometimes can be very difficult and that sometimes can make it lonely. However, that's why we have Ori and Me because there's plenty of people there. There's, it's an awesome community and it makes you feel safe and we provide the proper nutrients for your Ori so you can go on a higher level. 
Let's talk about what a community is, okay? A community is a group of people who share things in common, who work together towards a common purpose, which they care about and who care deeply about each other. So it's a group of people that actually are working together for a common purpose. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody understands what the mission is and everybody's willing to carry it out and support their brothers and sisters along the way. All right, so a community is just that and that's what we have done to build a community here at Ori Ine. Now, where is this? We already said it, it's right here with Ori Ine. All right, now let's talk about what did Ori Ine, uh, where did Ori Ine come from? Where did we come from? How did we get this? What did this come about? Well, here you go. Number one, we noticed an increase of people gravitating to Ifa just seeking guidance. They just needed help. They just wanted to find out how to do things in life that seemed so far-fetched or so mystical in life. They just didn't know what to do, particularly people also in Ifa already. It's not just people on the outside. People on the inside of Ifa also has the same issue. We also notice expectations of rituals over putting in the spiritual work. This is very common. We see a lot of people doing ritual after ritual or a bow after a bow, and they're putting all of doing all the spiritual work, and yet they're not doing the rework that is needed to be able to move forward in life. Also, our research reveals that the importance of one's ORI relating to the fulfillment of their destiny. We've, we did a lot of research on ORI and we figured out how important this truly is to our destiny, um, op opposed to how we're taught usually particularly in IFA about other things in IFA. We found that ORI was the most important thing for an individual to figure out what they're supposed to do in their life and how to completely be successful and fulfill their destiny in this lifetime. So without a read, it's gonna be a tough situation. <clears throat> Ifa says that failures in, I'm gonna say the Odu first, okay? The Odu is Ogbe Ogunda, my buddy. Ogbe Ogunda. In Ogbe Ogunda, the Odu, uh, it says, Ifa says that failures in the certain aspects of a man or woman's life should not be blamed on one on the person's laziness, stupidity, or lack of initiative, but as a result of what is entrenched in his or her ORI. So based upon what's in your ORI is the issue of success or failures in life. It's not because you're lazy, stupid, or have lack of initiative. Those things are byproducts of something else. It's what's entrenched in your ORI, ideals, um, teaching, understanding, upbringing, things that are, are entrenched in your re are the reason why you make the decisions that you make. So if you change that or you alter that or you fine tune that, you'll make better decisions and you'll have better experiences. Iwari Ogunda, it says, it is not a matter of our ancestors. It's not a matter of any Orisha. It is a matter of one's Ori. One of the things that we also notice is that a lot of people run to their ancestors, Orishas, Illuminates, and things like that. And it's great to be able to worship them and honor them. However, what has been missed is the matter of one's Ori. So in Ori and we are focusing on the positives, the negatives, and bringing balance to one's Ori. So again, where did Oriani come from? One day after meditation, yoga, and all that good stuff, and doing Oshe Fa, in the same morning, it kind of like the light bulbs went off that this would be a great class to bring to the people. So that's where this kind of initiated, along with some other things and some other experiences in life. Um, what, but along with some other things and experiences in life, along with what we just said, but one day we were doing all of these things and it's just the light bulb went off and it became clear that the world needed to see this great thing. And oriani.com literally was born kind of that day within that week. Yes. More than likely, but it, that was a day the concept of this class or these courses came about. 
Now, what does a re and knee mean? Let's talk about that really quick. A re and knee. Well, basically it means one head. And knee means one, or re means head. You combine it to one head. That one head should be connected to Olu Dumare or the higher power, whichever you call it. All right. In our spiritual practice, it's Olu Dumare. So your head, your, your head should be one with Olu Dumare, thus a re and knee. Now, what is a re and knee about? Let's talk about that really quick. This is one of my favorite analogies here of ORI. Your ORI is basically a computer system. Okay, imagine you, you got a brand new computer system from, from a, what's that place called? Best Buy. Best Buy, <laughs> or, or from what's the place that delivers to everybody? Amazon. Amazon <laughs> delivered it to your doorstep and you got your box and this, you crack it open and you got a brand new computer, right? So that computer comes with a hardware. And that hardware is designed to make the computer function in its natural state, okay? Whatever its function is, if it's a Mac or if it's a PC, it's its natural state. It's going to have a hard drive full of things in there that helps that thing to do what it needs to do. For us, we have the same thing. You're born with your own hard drive of things that you need to do as a human being and as a person coming to this planet to pursue a particular destiny in this lifetime. So number one, like I said, one of the hard drives um, in your ORI is called destiny. The next one is character. Character is already in your ORI. Your character is already there and your family, who you're gonna be born to or born into is already there. Your spouse has already been chosen. Your career path, what you're good at in life is already there. And your finances has already been chosen. Meaning if you're going to be rich or poor, or you're going to be kind of in the middle, all that stuff is already predetermined for you in your hard drive when you're born. Now, as we go through life, just like another computer, you're going to notice and you're going to get advertisements of different things that you can add to your computer, right? So you can get different software. The software is the things that you add to the hardware. So some of these things that we add throughout our lives, such as religion, school or certifications, society, spirituality, friends, job, business. Now, is that the same as career? No. Your career basically is a thing that you have chosen to do in this life. What you're good at a job is something you just do. Okay. So, but a business can be something that you are, that's in your career path if you have chosen the right business, all right? So that's why we say it's in the software, all right? So these are the software things that we add to our hardware. Now, when we download some of these software, sometimes we get viruses, just like any computer, except for a Mac. Mac's supposed to be almost virus proof, but they're not, right? <laughs> but poor PCs really fall prone to viruses when they do downloads of different softwares and things from the internet. So some of these viruses come in the form of poverty. Divorce. Addictions. Illnesses. Loneliness. Stagnation. These viruses block us from receiving messages that Oladumare has already programmed and planted in our ORI, in our hard drive, and prevent us from fulfilling our destiny and also making the proper decisions for us to be able to fulfill our destiny very smoothly. So it's time to get it out. It's time to defrag that computer and get it out. Remove those viruses, remove all those things that do not serve your purpose anymore. Thus, the idea of being holistic. It's time to be holistic and identify the things that have not been working for you and get back to what the hard drive says you need to do. And what I also like about Ori and E is that it gives you an opportunity, a safe space to be able to purge your past and the things that are holding you back to where you are procrastinating or disorganized or any of those types of things. How do you do that? You have to update your Ori. Okay, you have to update your ORI. Any new updates that you need to get, 
to clear off some of those, those old things that no longer serve you, as we just said, update your array, defrag it, update it, and start coming new, okay? Start all over again, so to speak, in most cases, in some cases. But who was Ori and E for? Let's talk about that. Who is this actually for? Who are these classes actually for? Ori and E is for spiritual beings seeking answers to mysteries, to the mysteries of spirituality. Spirituality can seem very esoteric at times and far-fetched. So we're trying to, again, like we said in the beginning, to narrow the gap of understanding so that you can apply these things to daily life. This is what this is all about. Odomari and no spirituality doesn't want you to feel like you're so far away from the information. Of course, it's a journey. Of course, it's not going to be a, a cheat sheet to the test, but it's not supposed to be so esoteric. It's also for those seeking a deeper understanding of their being, purpose, and mission in life. And Aria need to make it very palatable so you're able to have a deeper understanding, an understanding, so you know more about why are you here and what is holding you back. Also, for those who are new to IFA or are veterans to IFA, this, this classes or these series of classes are for you too. This is for everyone who's looking for information that are in IFA to connect the dots again, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're new to it or you've been around a long time, we've, we've had them all. So these classes are particularly for you also. Also, all walks of life and backgrounds. What I like about Ori, everybody has an Ori, no matter what you practice. So this is for all walks of life and backgrounds, no matter what you practice. Equally as important, um, the sewing sessions, uh, any class that we have technically, are for those willing to practice self-reflection before ritual protection. Oh, sure. Okay, that means you need to look in the mirror a lot more before you sit on the mat, basically in a nutshell. Look in the mirror, look inside of what your life has been, do the work, own what you, what you do well, and also equally own what you do not do so well. Before you decide to call up a Bible Lao and sit on his mat to see if the Ifa can help you, own what you do. Do not do more self reflection before ritual protection. Also, those who made the commitment to simply be different. When you are practicing to be able to have a better Ori, then you really made the commitment to be different. You know, instead of running, to have like, like, uh, like he said, Macandrola said, like ritual protection over a self-reflection. Once you've made that commitment, you've actually simplified your life by going straight to your Ori first and then seeking after that. And that is different. By choosing a lifestyle over a diet, basically, right? So speaking of diet, great segue. Have you ever tried shedding a few pounds in your life? Well, majority of us have. If you live in America, definitely we have. Tried to do something at some point. I don't care if it's for a wedding. I don't care if it was for an anniversary. I don't know what it's for, but it's, most of us have tried to share, shed a few pounds here and there. All right. Now, what does that actually look like? Commitment. And commitment is an act, it's not a word. The pounds are not going to fall off because you said they will. It takes the action of dieting, changing your diet, working out, and doing things that would render the results that you want. Also, when it comes down to shedding, how about shedding jealousy, anger, and patience? Um, all of those negative um, feelings or emotions you know, that is even a bigger commitment as an action word towards your progress. Let's have a little workshop insight. So let's see what you can look forward to in the workshop coming up, right? How do you get involved, all that good stuff. First of all, if you're interested in checking out how to enroll, number one, you need to go to areany.com, all right? Go to areany.com. And also you can consult with your representative, whoever referred you to us, you can consult with them and you can also go to areany.com. B, please click on the bookings tab once you get to areany.com. 
And then you can go to the classes section. And I'm saying that for a reason. There's two sections. There's classes and there's courses. You want to go to the classes section, and I'll explain why later on. So when you go to arini.com, click on the booking tab, and then go straight to the classes section on the booking tab page. Now, fill out the form and enroll, and you are in the family, all right? Once people enroll in ORE and E, you are forever connected to us, hopefully, right? Now, lastly, you will receive the links to join each class within 24 hours prior to each, each session. Now, again, 24 hours before each session, you will receive the link. We don't send them out automatically for particular reasons. We want to make sure you can see it in your, in, in your email inbox. We don't want it to be buried in your inbox. We want you to be able to see it. So before each class, you will receive your links to join in at least 24 hours prior to. All right. Other insight. Ori and E will be held on Mondays and Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time or 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right. On Mondays and Wednesdays, 5 p.m. on the West, 8 p.m. on the East. It's also a three week course. It's six sections, sessions, workshop series. So there's two classes happening each week for three weeks. So again, please consult with your rep for class dates and all that good stuff. Or again, you can go to orene.com, all right, to see more. And when you go to that, remember, go to the classes section. Now, Workshop pricing, how much is this gonna run you? How much is this How much is this investment gonna be a great return on your investment for you? Now, the workshop series round trip is 200 bucks, okay? 200 bucks round trip. Now, here's what you actually get for your $200 investment into your RE. Again, it's a three week course, you get that for sure, right? You get orientation. You get meditation and mindful movements. You get free or re coaching, and we'll explain about that a little bit more at the end. And also, at time of checkout, remember to ask your, your coach or your um, representative should give you their code. At checkout, if you enter their code, you will get a free or e and t shirt. We have men's sizes, men's style, and we have women's style shirts. We have Baba and Ia t shirts, okay? <laughs> we have Baba and Ia t shirts but you must enter your representative's code in order to qualify for the free t-shirt. So make sure you bug and harass your representative <laughs> for the code to get your free t-shirt. Now also, sometimes the budget may be tight. We understand that. So we came up with a payment plan option for everyone. So now you can make three easy payments and you are in the class, all right? Three easy payments it's a three-week class, so basically you can pay each week, okay? You can pay each week. So that should help out a lot this time, all right? So if you have any questions, again, you can ask your rep, all right? If you need to ask more questions, you can always schedule a meeting with us also. So now, as promised, we talked about ORE coaching. ORE coaching is basically a 30-minute to 45-minute session with either one of us that we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you to help you to understand what this stuff is all about, what's happening in your life, um, different aspects of what you may be dealing with within your own ORE, per se, okay? These are all follow-up services so that after you take sewing, after you take Sprout or whatever else, we have other things you can do to stay connected to the community, all right? It's going to be hard to be a community if you're not connected to it. So, or re-coaching is one way to stay connected. On Sunday mornings, we have Head Start. Head Start is a live conversation piece. I won't say presentation, but it's a conversation piece. On Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. on the West, 12 p.m. on the East. All right? That's included in your membership. Speaking of memberships, we have mental fitness plans, all right? You 
got to go to orini.com to look up these things. We won't get too far into those right now. But you have mental fitness plans that you can sign up for that will help you get all kinds of other things, including free lectures and all that type of stuff, including in your plan. So, and we also have the second class that comes up after sewing, which is? Sprout Sessions. That is awesome. The Sprout Sessions. Um, after the people take the sewing sessions, then you can go into the Sprout Sessions. That is the second part of the Orea Me course. And remember, you can't take Sprout without sewing. So, Please stay in touch, stay in the know with us. How? Subscribe to the page. Go on the website and subscribe to our page. You'll receive uh, complimentary emails and text messages about what's going on with us, uh, what classes are coming up, any lectures we're doing, uh, where we're going to be in a particular city doing our live lecture. You, you will be in the know at that point. All you got to do is go to areany.com and subscribe to the page. All righty. Well, we thank you so much for being here with us. And I am one of the instructors. I am Ifa Shewa. I was a fully, initiate, fully initiated in Ifa in 2006. And I'm all about spiritually rich life that focuses on wellness and helping people. I love helping people. So I'm so grateful that you're here. And myself, I am Makanju Allah. Initiated in 2018, been around Ifa in the community since 2009, um, and I am here to do the same thing. We're here, both here about wellness and being holistic, all right? You can see more information about us on the website if you need, all right? If you want to contact us, again, oreane.com has a contact section on the page, on the website, rather. You can email us directly at oreanelove at gmail.com, or you can also give us a call directly at 310-362-8191. All right. Well, we give thanks. You can enroll now at oreane.com. You can enroll now at oreane.com. And we want to thank you for being holistic and joining us today. I am Makanjula. And I am Ifa Shewa. And we represent Oriendi. We look forward to seeing you in the next sessions coming up or any sessions in the future. We appreciate your time and thank you again for being holistic. Ashe. Ashe.